Hi there, Mandy from Designs by Miss Mandy. I am back again to show you another awesome Illustrator tutorial. Today I want to show you how to cut out an image in Adobe Illustrator. So this is something that you normally do in Photoshop, or at least is probably your first thought to do it in Photoshop, but it can get annoying to toggle back and forth between Photoshop and Illustrator, and so I want to show you uh, an easy way that you can um, cut out a few simple images in Illustrator. So what I'm going to do first is just drag an image onto my artboard and it's huge so I'm going to size that down. Then I'm going to embed it because it bothers me when I don't. And then um, the tools that I'm going to be focusing on are the pen tool and the clipping mask tool. I've shown you how to use clipping masks before um, when you're just doing a basic mask with shapes like a rectangle. And that's pretty easy. You can just take a shape with it selected and with your image selected and then go to object, clipping mask, make or command 7 for a shortcut and that will clip it to the size you want. But if I don't want to use a basic shape like a square or circle, um, then I can use the pen tool to outline what I do want to cut it out. So let's say I want to cut out just this star. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my pen tool and add points everywhere that I want to. I'm going to change this to a line to make it easier. And I'm just clicking and adding points. I chose this one because it's a fairly simple shape to start off with. So now I have my star selection and if I have that selected Make sure you have the whole thing selected and not just one point. Um, and I select, I hold shift and select my image behind it. And then either go to object, clippy mask, make, or just hit command 7. And now I've clipped out my star. I can size it however I want. And the cool thing about creating a clipping mask is that you never really get rid of the image behind, so you're not deleting the background per se. If we come over here to our layers panel and just click the little arrow, you can see that I have a layer that's a clipping mask and a layer that's the image. If I hide the clipping mask by clicking the eye, then you can see the rest of the image is still there. And say I wanted to move one of my points over more, I didn't like where it is, then I can select this, get my little white arrow tool, and I can move it around. Oops. Just want to have one point selected. See how I'm doing that? I can position it to exactly where I want it to be. So that's the neat thing about clipping masks. And you can do things like this with more complex shapes too. It can take some it takes some practice with the pen tool to get it exactly right. And if your object is too complex, maybe you do need to do it in Photoshop. But let's say I wanted to clip out this leaf out of this image that I have. I can just take my pen tool and you can click on it over in your toolbar or you can just hit the letter P as a shortcut. And I can follow this line and if you want to um, do a curve then you hold it and then drag it until you have the curve that you want. And then as you see now it's creating another curve automatically. Um, the pen tool takes some practice to use, but you can you'll get used to it with with time, and you'll realize how you need to do it. But I can go all around this leaf. I'm just gonna do this really quickly. Just 
this I can show you. I'm using a trackpad right now, which is not as nice as a mouse for this sort of thing. But do what you can. This is just going to be a really quick and dirty. And if you ever don't like how one of the points turns out, you can just hit Command Z for undo. That's one I'm sure you probably already know. <laughs> one I have to use a lot. <laughs> so then you just select your path that you created and I didn't have anything on on this one. I could have had an outline. Sometimes it's uh, useful to have like a black or white outline as you're going along. Sometimes you don't have to but anyway so if I select these two the path and the image behind it and then just hit command 7 and I've clipped out the rest of my picture. I can scale this any way I want to, turn it, and like I sh showed you before, the picture is always there. We can hide the clipping mask, and you can see that the rest of the picture is still there, and you can always edit the points later. So there you go. That's how you can cut out an image using Illustrator, the pen tool, and clipping mask tools.